So first of all, let me interview you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Um, obviously, I'm here with GRM Daily. Big up them. Um, this is the first time you've directed a film. Yeah. A yeah. movie. How does it feel? You know, being on the other end. Um, it's great. It's a good feeling. It's, I'm, mm. I'm nervous about you know, I, I, you know, a director lives and die by his film. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. As an actor, you can be in a bad film but be great in it. Yeah. But as a director, it's all you, uh, essentially. Yeah. And um, I'm proud of this film, but I'm definitely nervous about what people think. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. I'm. I've seen the trailer. I've seen the trailers. It's, it's a good trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proud trailer. of the trailer. <laughs> And um, one of the parts in the trailer that I found interesting was Hackney. Mm -hmm. That's where we're both from. Mm -hmm. um, Hackney to Hollywood. That's what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how can I remember? Hackney to Hollywood. That's what you've done. So, yeah. how does how does it feel? Like, talk to me about the early stages in your career. Um, I think that when I was growing up, I had that vision to want to be up there in, in Hollywood, in mm. America. I remember mm. watching Denzel, watching Wesley Snipes, watching Tay Diggs, watching mm. Omar Epps as like, you know, idols. And coming from where I come from, mm. in Hackney, then Cannon Town, then East Dam, that just mm. felt like a million miles away. But ultimately, you know, I've said this a million times in interviews, it's all about hard work. It's yeah, just, you know, yeah, I yeah. just, I'm relentless with the work. I just yeah. keep going and keep going. Um, I used to live on Holly Street, <laughs> right, yeah, I know, you Holly know Holly Street, Street yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. that's back, mad. But Holly Street was... Holly Street, Hollywood, <laughs> exactly. wow. But Holly Street back then was, uh, um, you know, it's, it's interesting the parallels of this because I lived on Cedar Court, mm. right, on, and Holly Street was there and then Holly Street Estate was behind me. Mm. Holly Street Estate was a maze and it was a maze of just destruction, to be mm. honest. Like, mm. kids from Holly Street mm. ended up going to jail a lot of times, getting in trouble with the police. Mm. My mum, on the same street, but on the other side of the street, you know what I mean, she was be, she would be on me about that, about don't go into the estate, don't mm. go into Holly Street estate. So it's interesting you say Hollywood to, Hackney to Hollywood because it wasn't even about Hollywood, it was about getting off the estate without getting in trouble, mm. you know what I mean? No, and then our character in our film he has to make similar choices. It's like, do you live with resent and hate or do you go forward in life and just live, you know? So that, it's an interesting, um, you know, parallel. No, 100%, I understand that. You do quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm busy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you do the DJ and singer. Artist. I don't call me a singer. Nah, you just I said love this it. a I few love times. It. He's bro. amazing. He's I'm amazing. You need to hear his vocals. Soon come. But um, yeah, you know, DJ, actor, rapper, whatever you want to do, you, like, you just do everything. How do you cope with everything? Uh, look, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, mm -hmm. me and Notes got a chance to work together in the studio and it was yeah. a blessing. I've never seen... Absolute blessing. It was a blessing. Absolute blessing. I got to watch a man, you've got so much talent, but you're so Thank free you. with your talent. You Thank just you. like stood there in front of everyone and just came up with five songs. Mm -hmm. One of which, <laughs> I don't know how I ended up on it, but I ended up, but I remember being, like wowed by that, and you wrote a hook, <laughs> a serious hook. Usually, I'm one that they call, you know, hook master. A hook master. <laughs> but you actually like mastered a hook. Thank you, bro. Uh, <laughs> and I hope we ever, I hope we make that tune because no, it's, it's got a vibe to it. Man. But you know, the point is, is that like I, I'm like you in a sense. I'm just, I'm free with the, the idea of just doing yeah, it. Things, yeah. I know uh, with you, I remember watching you freestyle. And even if you didn't get the word right, you would just get the vibe right. Yeah, and it would be like, oh, every other line, oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then you'd go yeah. back and polish that. And I remember thinking, a lot of people get the word wrong and mm. lose their confidence. Yeah. And you don't. And I'm similar in the sense that I've tried a million things and mm. I'm not great at everything, but I just don't stop, keep trying. I think that's like a real important distinction. Yeah. You know, like people feel shame when they kick the ball wrong and it goes it left goes and they want to kick yeah, the ball yeah, again. Yeah, no, you've got to carry keep, on. You've got to keep going. Um, last thing that I'm gonna gonna ask you, in terms of like just inspiring, you know, black creatives mm. or just any creative really, because mm. you're an inspiration to all types. Um, how do you, you know, how are you gonna try and keep on doing this? 
not just with the movie, just with everything in general. I think, you know, it's about seed planting, isn't it? That mm. if I'm, just to make it really basic, Yardi, I am not in the film as an actor. Mm -hmm. I gave the, mm -hmm. the film, the performances, to a lot of first time actors. Mm. This is their first film. And yeah, for that's me, sick. Wow. you know, yeah. for me, that's, if there's six actors, that's six seeds that I'm planted. Yeah. And you, you know, it won't be about me eventually. It will be about what I left behind about me. It's about, yeah. you know what I mean? And the vibe you left behind. Mm. And one thing I, like I, you know, like working with you that day, I never forget, I go into studio now and I'll be like, let's just put the mics up, let's put the tune up and just run at it. Yeah, man. And that was, you know, that was a seed you left behind. So hopefully, you know, young creatives that are looking my way will go, I wonder what Amel's up to. Amel's directing his film now. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I mean? Like, Notes is doing his film. And remember, he was going to do the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's directing it. So that, to yeah. me, that's how you, you, you kind of keep... Um, keep a, a beacon out for others is just mm. to keep planting seeds, keep planting opportunities. 100%. You know what I mean, like you using new producers, you know, new songwriters, that's a way to keep your legacy alive, you know? 100%, 100%. Mm. You're definitely an inspiration to me. Yeah, you know man, it's so, great yeah. seeing you, man. No, wow, nice you. support. Come on, 100%. Grime Daily. Come on, we're here. <laughs>